This week's Pilch Point with Avram Pilch is proudly powered by Newegg.com. Um, whether you're looking for um, a screen or computer parts or you're building your new machine, you've killed your monitor, <laughs> or you're building your studio, um, Newegg is a great place to find uh, the top parts for really inexpensive and they run uh, deals all the time. Uh, I know probably about half of the studio in here is built with parts that came from Newegg. So um, absolutely check out all of the deals that are available by going to pilchpoint.live slash Newegg. Now, we're going to talk about some robot stuff. Yes. So... I have something actually cool to, sh to show everyone a good show and tell here. Uh, my son and I built this on uh, it's a, it came from a kit though, so I can't say we built it from scratch or anything. This is the Elegoo. Yes, that's the name of the company. E L E G O O Elegoo smart, smart robot car version three. Uh, why version three? I guess they had a two that had slightly different parts and a one that had slightly different parts and instructions. So uh, what's cool about this this car, uh, which I got on Prime Day for, for $55, but it's usually about $70. Um, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it on, you can get it on Newegg. Um, uh, the, uh, you see, uh, what's cool about it is this is an Arduino-based car. So if you like ex like Arduino and like learning about Arduino, here's like the Arduino board. Actually, it's a shield on top of it, and the board is below. Okay. Uh, if you if you like uh, or if you're like me and you you want to learn about Arduino, uh, you want to. Uh, I had talked with my son who's six, so you know, building something like this is a little beyond his ability by himself. But, um, you know, about building our own sort of Arduino car for a while. And then I decided, you know what, we're probably not savvy enough yet. I'm not savvy enough yet to just buy all the parts and figure figure it out, figure out exactly how to, like, get it physically to work by myself. Uh, so I got this kit. Uh, and the kit uh, has instructions that walk you through it. Um, the... There, there's a series of YouTube videos that also walk you through it. The YouTube videos are better than the, the instructions are all PDF files. And one thing that's a little bit weird about about it is it, they give it to you on a on a DVD. Uh, so fortunately, you can go to the website and download it. But if you don't have, you know, so, but I guess they think people still have DVD drives. Interesting. Uh, anyway, so uh, what you get for this in this kit is. Uh, you get a series of four four DC motors to control these four wheels, which obviously comes with the wheels and, and all that. There's a motor driver module in here at the bottom. Um, and then, so it has like two layers of chassis, like one on the bottom, one on the top. On the top here is that's where the Arduino and Arduino shield go. This is the battery case and it comes with two rechargeable batteries that are weird a weird size they're not double a or or they're not double a's or triple a's but they're shaped like extra large double a's like if a double a was like twice the size um and then um and then the other components that has here is this is a uh infrared detector uh distance detector that that you can use to avoid uh to make the car drive itself and avoid colliding with objects. Uh, it, there's an interesting name for this sensor too. I hadn't heard it before, but apparently it's the standard name for these. It's called an ultrasonic ranger. I was going to say, it looks more like ultrasonic than it does infrared. Okay, yes. So I guess it's ultrasonic. You're, um, it is a, I, I guess I'm confused about how it works. It is a distance sensor Okay. Uh, that it uses to, to avoid collision. So you can use, you can program it to go you know, oh, if it gets too close to something, it'll back up or it'll try to turn or something like that. Um, the uh, on the bottom here, there is a line sensor that you can there's a they have a program you can use that will make it just follow a line that you draw on a piece of paper. Okay. Um, so there are many things, cars that can do those sorts of tricks. 
but what's neat about this is besides the fact that you build it yourself from real parts is you also got to program it yourself. So if you're looking for like a lot of car, a lot of robot kits I see, you, you know, you have an app and then after you put it together, it's like, great, I can use this as a remote control car now. And maybe I can program it using some special kid friendly block based coding language. This is a real Arduino thing that requires you to use the Arduino IDE to program it. It comes with a bunch of scripts to do the most important things. Oh, I also forgot. It comes with two other things it comes with besides the motors, the wheels, the ultrasonic ranger, the line sensor, the ultrasonic ranger, which actually turns on a servo motor here. Um, it also comes with a infrared module here, um, and it comes with a little remote control. So you can use remote control to control it, provided you install the right Arduino program for that. And it also comes with, and I have it disconnected right now, a Bluetooth module uh, that you can use because you can't, you have to take the Bluetooth module out when you connect it to your computer to upload Arduino programs. So I haven't quite figured out what the apps are, that what things you use with the Arduino, I mean with the Bluetooth uh, module. Sure. But, uh, but what's really cool from my perspective is I'm really wanting to learn more about how to program Arduino and they give you this, the Arduino uh, programs to do all these different things. So, but they also give you some explanation of how they work. Uh, although I have to say that part could be better. They, they don't, they definitely are very, the technical documents are a little advanced. Uh, assume that you know a lot like particularly the one about using the uh the remote control um uh, which is infrared um so uh is you know all about the different frequencies and a little confusing to me but um uh, you know and obviously my son it was most excited when i just fixed it so he could drive it with a remote control uh than watching me like type code in uh into the screen but on my computer but uh, I'm I'm really psyched because like it's using a standard. It's using Arduino. As p if people don't know, Arduino is what the, what a lot of makers use to make robots, to make projects. And so what that means is, uh, a I can program things into this that that the makers of it that Elegoo never dreamed of. And I could also easily, although a lot of the pins on this have been used up by the motors that it's using, mm -hmm. easily add add things to it you know so because it uses you know arduino i could take i could easily take uh this board and i could attach like i would like to attach a video camera to this so it could actually watch video of what it's seeing um provided i could figure out how to like stick it up here and mount it uh it's easy enough to attach it to the board and, and have it go um I would like to maybe I'd like to take some colorful LED lights and string them, you know, and 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 use them to light up the car, uh, you know, easy enough to do that also. So, uh, so it's kind of you know maybe I want to put a touch screen up here. I don't know that that'd be a little weird, but you know, uh, easy enough to do because this is a, uses Arduino, a very the most pop one of. The, arguably the most popular board for makers, although Raspberry Pi is up there too. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, for me, this is really cool and highly recommended. It is not, you know, uh, even though I bought it so my son and I could do it together, I did the like 99% of the work. He was helping me screw it together. Um, he, he did learn something, uh, but you certainly, if you were handing this to, to a kid, you maybe you'd have to do by themselves unless they're, a kid that has experience with Arduino and is, you know, pretty good reader, uh, pretty technical, like, you know, I'm talking like maybe 12 or 13 or older. Um, I, uh, you know, you're going to have to help them. Uh, but this is, you know, this wasn't necessarily made to be a kid's thing. It's really, you know, made to be a hobbyist project. So, uh, highly recommended the Elegoo smart car, uh, can get it on uh, New Egg or Amazon, uh, and uh, it's a lot of fun and a good learning learning experience uh, putting together. And I should say it took me about three hours to put to, to do the physical part of putting it together. Okay. 
Uh, we actually, here in the Tampa area, we have a group called the Tampa Internet of Things Society. And uh, one of the things we did, I think in 2017, was we built a uh, small fleet of fighting robots. Um, and we used a kit very similar to that um, as our base for for the for the machine. So it I can tell you from personal experience that a kit like that is perfect for adults and <laughs> there's all because it's it's based on on a standard, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. Yeah, that that was my feeling. I mean, I really I had some ambitions about just buying wheels and buying like trying to figure out what parts I needed rather than you know, getting a kit that makes it quote unquote, you know, easier for you because you have everything you need and instructions on how to do it. Uh, but in the end, I was like, oh, man, I just I'm never going to do it if I just try to buy parts. Uh, so because uh, I think one of the more common things is you real what you really need the most is you could buy. It's easy enough to buy an Arduino board and buy an IR sensor and things like that if you want. But, man, it, you know, trying to get a chassis that you can easily screw everything into Mm -hmm. uh, that has all the holes in the right places. That's a little bit more of a challenge. So uh, although there are places that will sell you just the chassis, but uh, anyway, so uh, really cool. I really enjoy, have enjoyed playing with it so far. Uh, You know, I recommend it to anybody who wants a cool project, especially to learn about Arduino. For sure. So, was this just a uh, a hobby project for you, or is this uh, going to make an appearance on the site? I may post a review of it. Um, it's not a brand new product that's been out for a lot since for like I mean, the version three has been out for like a year, and other versions have been out for several years. So I don't know if we'll get a ton of traffic for for posting if I posted a whole article about it. But um, but uh, it is recommended, so uh, I may I may do a, a quick review of it. Uh, because uh, I do want our readers of Tom's Hardware and others to know about it and that it's uh, a really cool, cool thing that they should they should definitely get. And just because it's a name that not only you may not know sounds a little silly doesn't mean <laughs> that it should be skipped. No, uh, you know, listen, uh, El- Elegu, by the way, my son thought it, thought the name is hilarious. Every time I say Elegu, he makes a story. He's like, ah, Elegu. Um, uh, the, uh, they also make, uh, if you, you know, look them up, they also make a number of other Arduino projects mm-hmm. that you can do. Uh, they have starter kits and sensor kits and all kinds of stuff. So uh, they actually have a pretty good reputation amongst those who buy these kinds of things yeah for sure um i think uh, on prime day including the kit that you have there i think we tweeted out six or seven <laughs> links from plug hits live on deals on their stuff so <laughs> they're definitely a company i'm familiar with i just and i'm with your son it's a funny name yeah but it's not the worst i i encourage people to go through amazon if you want to laugh sometime Go through Amazon, look at like the Bluetooth speakers section and the USB cables and hubs and whatever. They're just a lot of small companies that I think they're just making up. Just they don't know. They're just making up some really odd names. I mean, there's I forget what they make, but there's a company on there called I do do. Uh huh. I remember that. So, you know, <laughs> Elegu sounds tame in comparison. Absolutely. Well, as always, Avram, thank you. For uh, for showing off, I love, I love that kit. I've not gotten to use it, it, it in particular, but it's obviously a pretty cool kit. 